Hello again. This is the Pencrest High School AP Physics 1 video series. This is video 6C, uh, Conservation of Momentum. Now we are already familiar with uh, conservation of energy. Okay, now we're going to look at the conservation of momentum. Recall that conservation in a physics sense means that uh, whatever quantity is conserved uh, remains constant. So conservation of momentum says the following. Uh, the total momentum of an isolated system of particles remains constant. Written formulaically, um, very simply says P equals P prime. Now we need to clarify a few things. Um, an isolated system means that there are no external forces acting on any objects in the system. The only forces acting are internal, that is the objects um, exert forces on each other. So those are what we call internal forces. <clears throat> this is notably a vector equation, which means that the direction of the momentum of each individual particle or object in the system must be considered. The symbols P and P prime indicate the total system momentum before and after some interaction takes place. So three, the total system momentum is the vector sum of all of the individual momentum vectors. Uh, this is not a big deal when we're dealing with one dimensional motion, but it does get considerably more complicated uh, when we get to two dimensions, which we'll see later on. The key thing is that it's a vector sum, so we have to take into account the directions. Uh, for in order to treat our systems as isolated, we usually refer to uh, before and after the event or the interaction as right before and right after the interaction. This way we can avoid effects like uh, friction on the surface um, or any other um, external uh, effects. When we say P equals P prime, we mean the momentum of the system right before and the momentum of the system right after. Now again, the most important point to observe about the conservation of momentum is that it only applies to an isolated system of objects. If and when we look at one object in particular, one object in the system, its momentum will change. So this applies even if the object is part of an isolated system. When the objects interact, uh, they will probably exert forces on each other. And as a result, their individual momentum vectors will change. But the total system momentum remains the same. The individual objects in the system can and will experience an impulse and their momentum vectors will change. But the system momentum will not. That's a very key point to the conservation of momentum. So now when we look at a system of objects, we typically differentiate the objects with the numbered subscript, uh, m sub 1, m sub 2. Um, when we apply conservation of momentum, let's say we have two objects in the system, <coughs> p equals p prime. So we have the left side of the equation indicates the momentum of the system before. We can see that m1 has its own momentum vector. M2 has its own momentum vector before the interaction takes place. And then M1 has its momentum vector after, and M2 has its momentum vector after. Notice the prime notation to indicate after. So we break this thing down. The left side here, again, this is objects 1 and 2 before. Notice the vector symbols. This is objects 1 and 2 after. Again, notice the vector symbols. We do have to pay attention to the direction. Okay, we can note that V1 and V1 prime are not the same. This is object one's um, velocity before. 
and then this is object one's velocity after there's v2 object two before object two after they are different okay now the critical point is that we would not say that momentum is conserved for object one or object two individually because their individual momentum vectors change during the interaction but the system remains the same this p equals p prime with no subscript indicates the entire system we would not say or we would say that p1 does not equal p1 prime and p2 does not equal p2 prime because each individual object's momentum changes. But the system momentum remains the same. It is critical that you see the difference between this, this, and this. Okay? So that's the conservation of momentum. Next up, we'll take a look at one dimensional collisions of uh, various types, and then we'll move on to 2D. Until then, enjoy. See you again soon.